Washington, and uh, we're under a beautiful blue skies, pretty much, uh, 79 degrees, looking at a high of 80 today. Uh, we've got uh, two guests here uh, promoting not only their businesses, but a special event for the sidewalk sales tomorrow. I've got Alex Stewart from Stewart's Market and Ann uh, Kozar from New Canaan Bicycle. Welcome. Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. So, um, first of all, let's talk about Walter Stewart's Market. If you live in New Canaan, you know where Walter Stewart's Market is and uh, a, a, a long-time family business here in New Canaan. And uh, what do you guys have planned outside of the event for tomorrow? Uh, for the sidewalk sale event? Yep. We're, yep. We'll put your mic sorry, up to you. Sorry. Sorry. Um, we're going to be in our sort of our usual uh, spot. Sorry. Yep. No. <laughs> uh, our, our traditional spot up at the, uh, the corner of Elm and Park. Uh, we'll have our Model T there. We'll have uh, a fresh produce stand. Um, uh, good deals, great prices. Great. Yep. Yeah. And uh, that uh, the Model T is a uh, is a is a trademark of New Canaan almost as it moves around from the Memorial Day Parade through uh, the events like this. It's just a, such a cool uh, vehicle. Yeah, that's our uh, that's our mascot, 1915 Ford Model T. Remarkable. And somehow it fires up every Keeps time. Keeps going. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, and Anne uh, from New Canaan Bicycle, uh, tell us about uh, what you've got planned for tomorrow. Well, we're very happy to be partnering up with Alex because mm -hmm. we're going to have a Fender Blender there. We had it last year, and it's to raise money for the Connecticut Challenge. And the Fender Blender works where you put ice and, and lemons in there, and the kids get on there, and you once they start to spin the bicycle, you engage the blender, and they get really excited about it. It's oh, really fun. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yep, oh, yep. fantastic. So yep. t uh, tell us about the, uh, the event and uh, the Connecticut Challenge. And sure. Yeah. Yeah. Connecticut Challenge has been going on for over 30 years, and they raise money for cancer survivors, and they focus on health and wellness and yoga programs and exercise and meditation and making sure that patients, after they are survived cancer, have the wellness to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And so uh, how did you guys uh, end up pairing up here? Well, we, uh, we uh, met up with Alex because he's a local uh, grocery store, and we thought it would be a great way for us to be able to uh, use activity, like riding a bike, the Fender Blender, right. and making something to sell so kids could be part of the action of saying, ooh, wow, I made, I made, I made lemonade, but I also made money for a cancer survivor. So the way that we could make it happen was uh, focusing on you know, a great person like Alex and having a grocery store. That's fantastic. Yep. So, uh, and in the involvement in the Connecticut Challenge specifically, uh, what is the story behind that? Oh, the story behind that is uh, John Murphy told us about it a couple of years back, mm -hmm. and uh, we connected with Alex Stewart where we have the jerseys that have uh, New Canaan bicycles and a Walter Stewart on there, and we ride the jer we ride with the jerseys, and we encourage people to ride their bicycles. Right. And as you uh, ride and train, you um, encourage people to donate towards Connecticut Challenge. And you do have to ride quite a bit of miles. So we're, my husband and I, Lou Kozar, are doing the Connecticut Challenge, and it's uh, July 24th and uh -huh. 25th, 80 miles one day. And you, you could do up to 80 miles the second day, depending on how you feel right. when you wake <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. where is that route? Where does that it's, go? Uh, it starts at Bear Mountain and goes to Westport. Wow. Yeah. That's it's a beautiful fantastic. route, though. And, uh, and how many people typically participate in that? Oh, geez, I'm not sure exactly, but it's quite a bit. Yeah. 15,000? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So uh, just sort of back to the bicycles real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, let's talk about the uh, merchandise that you do carry and um, and, uh, and accessories. Yeah. Sure, sure. We um, we carry uh, different brands of bicycles. A giant. Um, um, I can't remember the other one. Sorry. And uh, so a lot of different bikes between adults to children mm -hmm. and even down to um, somebody who's just starting to walk. We have a balance bike that we encourage uh, children to use and not use training wheels. And we have um, all the type of uh, gear that you need. So we have jerseys, shorts, helmets for yep. safety and uh, trailers uh, for your uh, bicycle if you're going to non you know, man Montauk or um, Cape Cod to bring right. all the bikes with you and the kids because it's so much fun to have your own bike rather than rent one. Yeah, yep. and great service and excellent mechanics. Back yes, there. yes. Yeah, right here in town. Right, right, yeah. exactly. Um, I'm just curious, uh, no training wheels? Uh, yeah. Oh, we do have training <laughs> wheels if you want it. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, Are yes, training yes. wheels out yep. since I yep. rode a bike? No, no, no. They're still, they're still <laughs> in. But. And the other thing I want to say is that we, um, we do also feature our first business that we did in, out of Stanford, which is Cycles on Call. We go uh. to your home, pick up your bicycle, bring it to the store, do a tune-up, and then deliver it back to your home when it's done. So it's a great, great service that uh, New Canaan and Darien, Norwalk, Wilton customers really enjoy. Oh, that's fantastic. Now, uh, just real quick, though, are there any particular trends in bicycles these days? Is, in, uh, you know, anything new and exciting that technology-wise or safety-wise or... Uh, 
I guess I would say safety wise, a lot more people are wearing helmets right. and a lot more people are putting um, their children on bikes earlier rather than waiting till they're six or right. seven, which is very helpful. Right. And um, trends and bikes is uh, cruisers are still in. I would say. Gotcha. Yeah, with oh, the yeah. basket in front, you can go yeah. to the uh, farmer's market. Gotta go anywhere yep. with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, that's yep. great. Now, Alex, uh, obviously, like I said, a long-time family business, um, you know, a true hometown market. Um, you know, the, the 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 thing when I think about stores among, uh, aside from the fact that this is a great store, is your community involvement. Right. And stores support so many local organizations, and this is the value of having a having a local merchant in town who really who grew up here and knows the town and and can you talk a little bit about the the tradition that's that's carried over all these years with your family and the business and well I, I think it's just it's grown from my great grandfather my grandfather my uncle and it's is I think we just as as a family and as a business feel it's so important to be um, involved in the in the town and all the great things that are going on here and you know we're interacting with our customers and it's so important to to them and their their lives their families yeah uh, it's just a, a big part of our business well it is a great part of your business too because you go in there you know people when they patronize your store but you know when they you know may come to you to support a a, a ball team or a or a school play it seems like Stuart's Stuart's doesn't back away from anything when it comes to supporting this town right you know we, we try to help out where we can it's absolutely fantastic well um so I appreciate you both coming here, Ann Kozar from Buchanan Bicycle and Alex Stewart from Stewart's Market. Uh, we appreciate you uh, both spending some time. Uh, we want to see what the, uh, come see them for the Connecticut Challenge at the corner of uh, Elmond Park and uh, raise some money for some cancer survivors. Yep. Great. Thank buy you so much. Buy some great produce. Yeah. Yeah, and buy some great produce and go. some bicycles. Great. Thank All you. All right. Thanks for spending some time with us. Uh, we are about to take a break. It's sunny and now 76 here in downtown New Canaan ahead of tomorrow's uh, 50th annual sidewalk sales. And we are out for a break and we'll be back in a little bit.